You guys want to see something cool? Hello gamers, I'm back. I'm pretending to be a middle-aged woman on the internet again. Really fun stuff. With my older profiles, I would take a picture online from somewhere, like a stock photo of a woman, but I really don't like using people's real faces. So now I found this website called thispersondoesntexist.com, and it just gives you a randomly generated face of somebody. So I was able to find a, a lady that looks like a Karen, kind of, you know, like, take, take a look at that. That's pretty good. You know, I feel like that would be someone who would be racist on Facebook. I could see that. I could see this lady yelling at a cashier, you know? I, yeah. I got the fake face, and then I made the fake profile. I named her Karen Whipperduff. I like the name Whipperduff. It sounds dumb enough to be fake, but also dumb enough to just be like, yeah, I could see a white lady with the name Whipperduff, you know? If you're Whipperduff, go and leave me a booyah in the chat. I made her first post. Boy golly, I sure am happy to be on Bookface, er, I mean Facebook. <laughs> Too much wine, am I right? And then she liked her own post. That's great, that's good stuff. She's a human resources assistant, HR assistant, at Human Resources. That's not fishy at all. And then her bio says, anti-masker, proud patriot, and mom of Aiden and Graydon. Also slightly racist. So, I got the fake photo, I got the fake profile, now let's go online. I managed to find the CDC page. So here's the first post, it's something about masks and schools and blah de blah blah stuff like that. And then Karen just had to shout back, you know how it is. I'm so blessed and grateful that my boys Aiden and Graydon have been homeschooled since birth, so they don't have to deal with these stinky mask rules. My kids aren't worried about catching social distancing either. Yes, we still go to the park. Yes, I still let them lick the slide. Yes, my Graydon has a fever, but I'm not worried. And someone actually liked it. I swear it wasn't me. I did like my own status, but that wasn't me. Someone actually saw this and was like, yeah. I agree, I agree, Karen. That's good. Here's one about the spread of social distancing ever since everything started. Um, and then I found this lovely lady, Terry. We are all neighbors, so let's start taking responsibility and do our part to slow the spread of social distancing. I great respect and admiration for the CDC. They have been our heroes fighting to keep all of us safe. Thank you for all you do. I agree, Terry, but um, Karen doesn't, so. Uh, great speech and all, Terry, but we're not neighbors. I don't even know you. If you keep making up lies like this, I'll have to report you. If you wanted to be friends with me, you should have just asked, girl. You gotta just talk to Karen. You can't just assume you're friends. Karen got that in high school, okay? She was a cheerleader. Not the top one, but like, it's sort of in the middle, you know? And then I found this lovely lady, Nicole, or I guess Nichol, my bad. So frustrated with how I was treated yesterday while going into a Walmart with no mask, because it's my right. But guess it's okay for their employees to not wash their hands after they go to the bathroom? Uh, checkmate, am I right, ladies? Crest and Winco don't require a mask, and aren't rude, therefore they will get my business. You said it, Nichol. What right does Walmart, a private company, have to discriminate against us anti-maskers, an unprotected class? I told my hubby about this, and he said that our rights were being infringed. I don't know what that means, but it still makes me mad. Grrr. Here's another CDC post about some medical lady doing, you know, social distancing things, blah de blah blah And then Karen says, grrr, mask bad, dying good. I agree, Karen. I agree. Then I went over to the Walmart page. Um, they talk about this guy, Mitchell, who just got a promotion. Good for you, Mitchell. Um, Karen has a bit of a problem, though. So Mitchell's a manager, huh? Maybe he will finally be able to help me. How many cashiers do I have to yell at before I can get someone who can do my bidding? I mean, honestly, what's the point of going to Walmart if every single person in the store doesn't do exactly what I say? I mean, I give you guys, like, $30 a month. I feel like I have some authority here. Here's another CDC post, just a helpful little infographic about how to wear a mask. I really like the one on your arm. That one, I, I don't get that, like, but of course Karen has an issue with it. Um, excuse me? I find this graphic very offensive. I prefer to have my mask hang from my wine glass when I'm out and about, so I can have a quick sip before I yell at my next cashier. I'd like to speak to the manager of this bookface page. That's it! That's the magic words! I'd like to speak to the manager- ooh, my god. That gives me PTSD. See, with this one, I actually got a reply, too. From a nice lady named Jane. LOL, LOL, best comment yet. <laughs> Karen, as Jane, are you the manager? 
Karen's out for blood, guys. You know, she doesn't care if it's a best comment or not. You know, she's here for one reason. Here's another CDC post about how to take off a mask. I'm a good little boy and I wear my mask, but honestly, I don't do half of this stuff. I had a nice lady named Glenda. She had something to say. I use antibacterial wipes after I take it off, as indicated. Then I wipe my hands down with the antibacterial wipes. That's my process and hopefully it will continue to work for me. Good for you, Glenda, for staying safe. Um, Karen? I don't know if she agrees though. Wow, it sounds like you've really got it locked down, Glenda. But let me ask you, did you disinfect the antibacterial wipes before you use them? Hmm? Huh? Uh, didn't think so. Next time you might as well pick your nose and then take off your mask. Jeez, some people. Sheeple more, am I right? Am I right? I had a nice lady on another post. You know, Denise, she's just laying it down. I have not changed my position. I still refuse to wear it. Finally, someone with some sense in her mind. You know, I feel like Karen's made a friend here. Let's see. I'm right there with you, Denise. I haven't worn a mask since Halloween last year. <laughs> LOL. Besides, I hear funeral homes are having some good specials right now since they're such high demand. So I'm sure we'll get a good deal. Stay strong, sister. I'm sure they've got some extra space. There's gotta be an extra graveside somewhere. You know, come on. It's 2020, there's gotta be a space left, right? It's kinda like a, like a Walmart parking lot. There's gotta be some in the back, you know? There's always some in the back, but you want somewhere near the the front so your family doesn't have to walk too far to see you so yeah that's about it for this video um if you know any karens in your life i'm i'm sorry that's that's it really do be like that sometimes um yeah i'll see you later